All right, this is Jader with Balls of Steel USA. Uh, today we're going to go over some bar maintenance, uh, also some bar cleaning. So we've got a lot of reviews and views online about our bare naked steel bar. Uh, when it ships and it comes in, it does have some slight rust on it. Once again, it's bare naked steel, so this, this process is going to happen. Uh, all you need to do is clean it. It doesn't take long, and next thing you know, you have a beautiful bar. Uh, we've been using this bar at my gym, West Indy Barbell, for about six months. It's one of the gym's favorite bars, and as you can tell, it hasn't rusted over time at all. If you are in an environment where it's wet a lot, like a garage, uh, that could happen, but here's some just general maintenance. Uh, all you're going to need is some gloves. I use Simple Green. Uh, it's in a bottle right here. Uh, it's one of my favorite products to use for gym cleaning. There's also a product out there called Rust Remover or Gun Blue. You can find it at Lowe's, Walmart, literally anywhere. It's in a brown bottle, uh, literally just says Rust Remover on it. And it's by far the best to get heavy rust off. Uh, whenever you're working with rust, go ahead and get some gloves. Uh, rust gets on your hands pretty easy and stains for a long time. So get your gloves and a nice towel. Uh, here's one of my critiques is a lot of people out there are using wire brushes. Uh, it's something you can do, just be aware that it could scratch the bar. Uh, wire brushes work really well for getting all sorts of different things off the knurling. Let's you know, say you're using chalk, if you want to get it off the knurling, that's fine, you can use your wire brush, but if you do use it on the needles, it can scratch. We haven't had this problem with the Bells bar, but on some of other bars that I've used, if you do use a wire brush, it can scratch the needle. Uh, I recommend a grill brush. So grills use a little bit lighter wire instead of a pure wire brush that you can find. Uh, this is really just a grill brush, you got it for $2.99 at Kroger. Uh, and it's a little bit lighter, it doesn't hurt when I move my hands across it. It will help get the rust off but not destroy your bar. Uh, so for general maintenance of your bar, use some simple green and some rust remover to get it off the ends. Uh, depending on how old your plates are, as you slide plates on and off, you will get rust. Like I have some slight rust here, but nothing major to need cleaning. Um, also, if you wanted to use that same, we have a three-in-one oil. You can take that three-in-one oil. I also recommend silicone spray, and you can just put it here in the bearings and spray it in there and just roll it around and it'll keep that bearing nice and lubed. Once again, we've had this bar for six months and I haven't had to lube it at all. It's still in great shape. Uh, so that's some general maintenance and cleaning. Once again, when you get your bare naked bar, we will have some rust here on the ends just due to shipping. Use some simple green and a rag, it should come right off. If not, get rust remover, it's a guarantee. This is Andrew from Bells of Steel. Thank you so much.